Hello, and welcome to another Astro One video presentation. In ancient times, astronomers imagined that all of the stars were located on a celestial sphere surrounding the Earth. While today we know that this isn't true, it provides us with a useful model for understanding the motions of the stars across the sky. If you go outside on a clear night and watch the stars long enough, you'll see that they appear to move across the sky. Today we're going to demonstrate how, and to help me with this is my assistant Stephen. The motions of the stars aren't due to the actual movements of the stars, but rather due to the movement of the Earth over time. Over the course of one night, stars will appear to move across the sky as the Earth rotates. To show this, Stephen will hold a camera while spinning to show what a person on the Earth would see as the Earth rotates. For those of us living in the continental United States, we live at a mid-latitude, somewhere between the Earth's equator and North Pole. Looking out into the nighttime sky, we are looking out at an angle relative to the Earth's rotation axis. To demonstrate this, Stephen will hold the camera upward at an angle. If we use Stephen's head to represent the Earth, that as a person stands upon the Earth, the Earth itself blocks his view of half of the celestial sphere. He'll be able to see everything above the Earth's horizon, but nothing below it. As the Earth spins counterclockwise when viewed from above the Earth's North Pole, objects will appear to rise in the east and set in the west. But how do they get from the east to the west? First, let's take a look towards the eastern horizon. You can see that, as Stephen spins, stars appear to come into our view from the side, or they rise into view. You should notice two things. First, not all stars rise in exactly the same place. While we say that stars rise in the east, we really mean that they rise somewhere on the eastern horizon, not exactly due east. Second, as the stars rise, they don't rise straight up. As the Earth rotates, the stars appear to trace out a circle around the Earth. Because we are located somewhere in between the equator and the North Pole, this circle is inclined to our horizon, such that the stars appear to rise at an angle from our point of view. Now let's take a look towards the western horizon. You'll see that as Stephen spins, stars appear to set or go below the horizon. You can see that they are not all setting at exactly the same place, but somewhere along the western horizon and you can also see that they set at an angle relative to the horizon. What would it look like looking towards the northern horizon? According to the celestial sphere model, the rotational axis of the Earth passes through two points on the celestial sphere about which it spins. These points are known as the celestial poles. Polaris, the North Star, sits very close to the celestial North Pole. As the Earth spins, all of the stars appear to move around the celestial North Pole. In other words, when looking towards north, we will see stars moving counterclockwise circles around Polaris. Some of these stars will always be visible, never rising nor setting. We call these stars circumpolar stars. The closer you live to the North Pole, the more circumpolar stars you will observe. If you lived at the North Pole, every star would be a circumpolar star. So there you have it. The apparent motion of the stars across the sky over the course of one night is due to the Earth's rotation and your location on it. Join us again next time for another exciting astronomy concept. See you next time!